a spaceship is cast out into space and you have, you, you, you can put five members on it and they're going to discuss, they're going to be concerned with discussing the future of human beings. Who, who would you choose and who would you chuck from that spaceship, right? We need, the, we need a pure humanist, uh, probably a philosopher, a moral philosopher. Um, we need a historian because someone needs to remind us what, uh, where we, we have to go, uh, well, where we've come from, sorry. We need a, um, and the third person is, I would say we need a pure scientist, presumably a biologist, a computer scientist or some, or of some sort, um, but at least a pure scientist. I'm just sort of using the term abstractly. But then there are two other people that I would put in that ship. And they, I, I call them translators. The first translator is a scientist humanist, someone who can speak the two languages. Um, and the second is, the, is another translator, a technologist humanist. Um, and they, they may be the same person, uh, but we need two translators because the pace at which we're moving, uh, it seems to me that we need to at least understand this pentagon of dimensions. Where did we come from? which is the historian's dimension, what should we be doing, which is the uh, moral philosopher, the humanist's idea, uh, hopefully tinged by an understanding of human history. Uh, and number three is um, what capabilities, uh, what, what does science look like? We need two translators who will, who will basically make peace between the, the three kingdoms. Um, and so that, so that would be my, my idea of, of, of who to put on that spaceship. I think myself, I would hope the hack would be is that everyone would bring their translational capability with them. Yes, maybe. Yes. It's an absolutely essential characteristic. I agree with the humanist and specifically philosopher. I also agree with the pure scientist. I wouldn't say uh, computer scientist. Um, I think biological uh, would be like anyone in the bi kind of biomedicine area, I think would be the area where I would orient. As the kind of the entrepreneur reinvention, um, I will you know, get historians everywhere scoffing and I will uh, admit the historian from the five person spacecraft. Um, and, uh, I'll add a technologist inventor because part of that is specifically that creation of new technology, which is a very, um, you know, kind of rare skill set, just like kind of the elite, you know, kind of, uh, scientists, you know, like yourself or Bob Langer or other, you know, Eric Lander or other people I would consider, you know, as, as part of this, um, uh, you know, on the, on the pure scientist and kind of biological, uh, side, I think another one would be some kind of, and it, it, the interesting question is, is kind of social leader because bringing in the, 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 the dynamic of, of, of us as a tribe, because we have this as homo sapiens, homo techne, we're both individuals and we're all tribal creatures. We're the kind of these, we're the, we're these bizarre dualities and you have to, in, bring the tribal thing in too. Um, and so that was, you know, somewhere in that, I don't think that's a politician, especially modern politicians don't think big enough, but like, you know, someone who is a kind of a humanist group leader. And I, um, like, I think there are some very enlightened religion people that could fit in that category. I would want to be very selective of which ones, because there's some also very unenlightened ones. There's one seat left, I think. Yes. One seat left again, partially because it's so much of the forward motion, the way to the future is the journey forward. I might take, um, kind of a science fiction writer. And I'm not, I'm, I'm dying to hear who you, who you would choose, uh, as your science fiction writer. Well, um, you know, there's, there's a set, uh, Kim Stanley Robinson is interesting. Yep. Um, yep. you know, uh, I've actually been recently rereading David Brin's uplift series. Yes. Yes. I know them very well. I'm, I'm a big fan of yeah. Exactly. So I just, kind of thinking through, uh, you know, uh, and I'm, you know, partially I'm dating myself because these are the people I was reading when I was reading science fiction, like every day, you know, these are the folks so I'm sure there's more modern folks that, that would also be, a, you know, well thought to be included, but you know, uh, Neil Stevenson, I mean, there's a stack of folks that I could, I could think of, of, of as interesting people. Mm -hmm.